Well, it's been four months since I did a video on this channel. Uh, there's been a little bit of small news made in game show circles, like Wheel of Fortune retiring the jackpot and replacing it with an express wedge. The Jeopardy controversy with the Kids Week, although I think that's contrived. And Minute to Win It got revived on GSN, but none of those really interested me enough to do a video. Today, however, we will review another GSN game show that just debuted tonight, so obviously this is not shot live. Big surprise. We're going to review GSN's take on the UK game show The Chase. Now for those of you unfamiliar with The Chase, I'll give you a brief rundown of what it was. Basically, The Chase is a group of players compete against a game show master, or, or a trivia master, I should say to try and win a big cash prize. It's as basic as that. On the UK version, they had four player teams. In the US version, there's three. Obviously, you could take that for what it is. It's not a deal breaker by any stretch of the imagination. Now, I will say they... This is a case of they actually did bring it over fairly intact compared to what you could have expected where they might have altered it or Americanized it. They really did keep it looking and feeling similar to the UK version of the show. Granted, you're only going to have one Grandmaster, Mark Labatt, but that's okay. I don't really think you need to have a rotation because it's not really necessary. And I think, as Labatt showed tonight, for the most part, he is a very formidable opponent. Now, the host of the show is Brooke Burns. Those of you who know me on Facebook... No, I do not like how she hosted Dog Eat Dog. That's one of the big reasons why I hate that show, in addition to it being a lame stunt show. She was not very good uh, as a question reader on there. Thankfully, I will admit that on The Chase, she did very, very well. She has noticeably improved as a question reader from Dog Eat Dog, and that is a big plus for a show like this that is predicated on fast-paced question asking she did a very good job here I really enjoyed how she did the show and I cannot say enough about this the three contestants in each episode there were six contestants because they obviously showed two new episodes the contestants really really enjoyed them I enjoyed them a lot why? Because they were the atypical game show contestants. You know how you watch Price is Right or Let's Make a Deal or Wheel of Fortune and they gotta scream and be loopy, dopey, and stupid all the time. I mean, and not just like two out of three. Usually, like on Wheel, it's all three. I'm not going to get into that argument. I ju I, when I only ask for competence, why do I get mostly incompetence? I'm setting the bar really low, Wheel. But anyway, you didn't see too much of that on the chase. Yeah, there was some exuberance, some fun for the contestants, but they were level-headed for the most part. They didn't try to overshadow the game, and that's what a lot of these contestants that the game shows pick nowadays, most of them anyway, do by picking these contestants, and they're screaming, and they're going crazy, and some of them can't play a game to save their lives. It makes me not want to watch the show. In this case, I'm glad they picked contestants who can play the freaking game. Now, the game is structured as so. Each individual player plays a speed round, basically, of questions. They build up the bank at $5,000 for every correct answer. Then they face off with the chaser, in this case, Mark Labatt and they got to determine which of the three levels they start on. The closer they are to Labatt in terms of position, the more money is at stake. If they're able to beat him to the finish line, basically they bank the money. And whoever survived at the end of those three individual rounds, they'll play against Labatt head-to-head, -head, and if they can keep him from catching them in the final game, they win the money. Very solid format. I really enjoyed the pacing of the show save for one minor thing about it and it's a plague on a lot of game shows this need to go into the commercial breaks with a cliffhanger basically like we'll find out if groundhog day is the right answer 
right after this. You almost expect to see Jeff Foxworthy there and the fifth grader music play, because it's not the only game show that did it, but it's the one that's on GSN right now. This desire to throw it to commercial, to build up the drama, like on that question I mentioned about Groundhog Day, was that necessary? Everybody who knows about Black History Month knows it's in February, and Groundhog Day is in February. Come on. I didn't like that, but that's a minor quibble. And basically, with game shows in America, you expect that kind of stuff. For the most part, they played it really straight. There wasn't too much goofiness. There was like one ha-ha moment. I think it was about a question that was talking about the Beast, which is the nickname of Labatt. But for the most part, this was a very straightforward quiz show. Now, I don't know how that's going to translate in the ratings. Because I'm pretty sure a lot of American viewers, the ones who are not big time game show fans or who don't watch UK game shows, are going to probably not know who Mark Labatt is. They probably vaguely remember Brooke Burns from other stuff. And maybe they would rather have a screaming buffoon as a contestant than the contestants they had tonight. And not saying anything bad about them. I like this much more than Screaming Idiots. And I like how, basically, they didn't really alter the format of the UK version, save for they had one fewer player. This is about as close as you're going to get to a straight port over as any game show you're going to get. And I applaud GSN for going that route. And really, I cannot say enough about this. This is a very good-looking show. I highly recommend anybody who likes quiz shows and just wants it straightforward, no BS, no gimmicks, just straight gameplay. I hope to God they don't try to incorporate gimmicks into the show later because it's already been renewed for a second season even before these shows aired. So obviously GSN has great confidence that this show is going to be a hit for them. I hope it is, because if tonight was any indication, I really think this could potentially be a big hit for them. Now, I'm saying that hopefully the rerun abuse they're going to give this show in the week to come, they're going to show it a lot, this is another thing that gives me pause. You've got to wonder, does it have the ability to be replayed as frequently as it's probably it's going to be played in the week to come? But overall... I like the set, I like the contestants a whole lot, I, I, I dare I say it, I enjoyed Brooke Burns hosting, and I enjoyed everything about this show, there was really not too many negatives, they were nitpicky at best, and they aren't going to be deal breakers. I implore you, if you got GSN, watch this show, you're going to love what you see.